Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayan, and today I am going to be talking about Demon Wind, which was released in 1990, directed by Charles Philip Moore. So our story starts out with a group of friends heading to a farm where our main character, Corey, has had several family tragedies. They kind of want to go see what's going on, maybe find out why they happened. Of course, they do go against the many um, warnings and threats of a local who is ultimately just trying to keep them safe and protect them. And, y you know, they don't listen. They go anyways. And uh, what follows is a strange mishmash of talking dolls, demons, family drama, alternative dimensions. I'm going to leave it there. It's spoiler free. So you, you got to check it out for yourself to know what I'm talking about. My likes. I'm going to likes. The effects were decent. I was pretty pleased with the effects. There were some eye gouge scenes that were disgusting. And um, a lot of the special effects on the demons in particular were super gross. There was a lot of weird, like, phlegmy, white, vomiting, dripping stuff. So super gross, which is good because then it's effective. My dislikes. It seemed like every time a friend or a significant other would die, everyone kind of like, oh no, and then they just move on right away. There was no like, oh, Carol, I miss Carol. Oh, I can't live without her. No, like, just move on. I don't even remember if there's anyone in this movie named Carol. So just pulled that name out of nowhere. I know there's a Corey, Corey Feldman. And Corey Haim. Anyways, so I, I felt like they moved on rather quickly, and I don't know how realistic that would be, or they were just like, ah, let's just keep keep this going, keep it moving. There's a lot of weird stuff in this movie, so we gotta, come on, guys. So, kind of adding on to that, for a big chunk of this movie, perhaps most of this movie, I was rather lost and confused as to what was happening. Just because there's so many different elements into it and doves representing souls, which only happen once, so how would you know that? And the all the dimension stuff and the demon stuff was like, particularly the ending, I don't even know how to describe it. I was so like, whoa, like just go on for the ride. It has a part in it that like gives you a fake, you know ending to the movie but then they screw with you and it happens a few times that's not really a spoiler because you don't know which one it is you, uh, what is this movie i have no idea i had a really good time watching it i do give it a 2.5 out of 5 i recommend seeing it honestly just for the experience because you're you're never gonna find another movie like this and if you have found another movie like this, please let me know down below because I would love to watch it and then just sit in a stupor for about 10 minutes just like, what did, what did I just watch? I had a good time. I liked it, I think. I think I liked it. It was all right. I found it on Amazon Prime Streaming. It is also available on physical copy. Um, when I googled it, it kind of just more like eBay type stuff, so I don't know how easy it's going to be to get your hands on this, but it is available on streaming on Prime, so good luck, I guess, if you really want to see it, which I do recommend you do. Have you seen this film? What are your thoughts? What the heck was the end of the movie? Can, can anyone clear that up for me? Honestly, what was the whole movie? That's the question. I have no idea, but... If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Like the video if you did. Leave me a comment with your thoughts down below and hit the bell for all notifications of my uploads. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter at Reanimator. And if you really want to be just mind effed and kind of lost, totally check out this movie. And um, good luck with that. See you later.